Hi there. I've got an Elysis quad reverb and uh, if you turn it on you'll see uh, that it comes on but the um, you can't see anything in the display. There is a backlight in the display comes on but the display is faded and uh, so I bought this not very much I can't remember less than 20 quid I think um, from Circuit Benders. I'll put a a link below and I'm gonna see if I can put it in cool. I think I think the wisdom is that you don't even need a soldering iron but there's quite a lot of screws to undo so let's see <laughs> let's see what happens so I'm gonna turn it off obviously so let's disconnect it from everything and I'm gonna take out one two three four five six seven Phillips, not posi drive <laughs> screws uh, and see what's inside. Right, so nice and clean inside. That's what we've got. And here's the display here. Let's see how hard that is to get out. I can see I can see there's a little uh, connector here, which looks like it's, it looks like I've got the right thing, put it that way. It's not an Alesis one, it's a third party, but it's supposed to, it's supposed to just work. And in fact, I got a groovy colour. I think I, there's different colours. I think I got, I don't know, we'll have to see. I think I ended up getting white on black, which doesn't sound that groovy, but it looks very clear my eyesight's not that good so i thought the clearest one anyway there we are uh right let's see how this comes out so that presumably actually we could do a little test couldn't we because i just pulled that off if i just put it onto here and then uh and then power it up we we'll see if it works before I spend a lot of lot of work on um, you know mending it. Right, make sure nothing touches anything that conducts. I think that's all right. Here we go. Moment of truth then already. Uh, yeah, the power. So that's power. Here we go. What do you reckon? Will it work? Oh my God! Look at that! Woohoo! It's. Uh, I love it. That's brilliant. Oh God, that's so much better than it was before it stopped working or anything, you know. And um, so, yeah, yeah, it just all, it just works. Oh my God, I love it. Good, right, okay. So now I've just got to, you know, get that in there. Let's, uh, Let's see how that works. Uh, it's not going to... Do I need to take the circuit board out? Oh God, I hope I don't. Right, there's a ribbon cable here that's kind of... This rib ribbon cable <coughs> that goes to this display was stuck with a sticky pad there. And then I can see the display has one, two, three, four screws holding it in place and, oh no, that's probably part of the display. Yeah, those these twisty things are part of the display, these twisted metal things. So I need to undo these four screws, but one of them is completely inaccessible underneath the circuit board. And the circuit board is, you know, these jack sockets are directly put onto the circuit board and there's all kinds of front panel-y things and everything so that's that might be tricky but let's just let's just see how far we get
So I can get the tip of the screwdriver to it. It's just whether I can turn the screwdriver underneath the circuit board or whether I have to take the circuit board out. I think I'm going to have to take the circuit board out. You know, if you were like a... If you were a tiny thing, if I could shrink and get under there, you know, you'd, you'd be able to do it. But I don't really... Oh, well, I've got a bendy one. Let me just see if I can do it with a bendy one. This, this is great. I recommend one of these. It's an iFixit tool. It was quite expensive and I bought it as a kind of little present to myself. But it's really good. I just think it's really good. The bits are really good. There's billions of different bit tips and and it also comes with this bendy bendy extension to the handle and um i'm not doing product promotion here no one pays me anything not even you in the moment unless i've monetized one day i might monetize my stream haha <laughs> how about that Uh, right, so, so I'm hoping I can kind of do this kind of thing. You can see I can turn it even though I'm not where it is. Let's see if that works. What do you know? I didn't think I'd be able to do that. Uh, now, this appears to be stuck with some some sticky stuff on the top. There we are. Undo the sticky stuff. And out she comes. There might be some sticky stuff on the bottom as well. Yes, there is. There you go. That's the old one. You can see they're not the same, not the identical thing, but as we saw at the beginning, it does work, so let's <clears throat> go. Just put it in and um, put it in and off we go. <clears throat> Getting this third screw back in might be harder than it was getting it out. And I may, because, you know, I'm not going on tour or anything anymore. <laughs> I am... Um, it will just go in my rack and that will be that. So it's not going to be banged about or anything. So I might just put it back in with three screws, which is a bit shabby. I wouldn't do that on a customer unit. But um, but for my own reverb that's just going to sit in my studio, I don't see why I shouldn't. I officially give up, so I admit to you, I've only put three screws back in this, um, this uh, one, one here, one here, one here, there's one behind there. I can't be bothered to put it in, and um, I mean, I think even if you did take it on tour, it would, it would be all right, it's not moving anywhere. So uh, <clears throat> for my for my money, it's not worth my while taking all that out just to get one more screw in the thing. So. <clears throat> Here we go. I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. Yes, I am. It looks great. It's better, better than the original. <laughs> All right, bye.